Yo, what's going on guys? We got another unboxing video here for you today. Um, I've broken into some of these packages a little bit just because they kind of came in before I left for Utah to go fish in this last competition, uh, which I should have a vlog kind of coming up on the channel soon, talking about that trip and the competition. Uh, some of it I've broken into, others I haven't, but without further ado, let's get into it. We've got a few different packages, uh, one from Cortland, one from Reddington, Rio, and one from Musky, Nightmare Musky Flies, which I haven't ordered from them in a long time. So first up we got Cortland, a um, couple of spools of Guide Tippet, not Guide Tippet, but a couple of spools of Ultra Premium, and these are the Guide Spools that have uh, 100 yards on them. So two 5X, I got one 6X, because I fished with 6X personally. Um, I actually ran out because this is what I use personally and then I use the 5x for all my clients uh, Some people think it's too small for clients This stuff's like steel cable, uh, especially the ultra premium uh, It's expensive, but it's worth it. I will tell you that much And I think this is the only other thing I got from Cortland. Yep, I got the, the Cortland Pike and Musky Intermediate uh, my, my old intermediate when I lived down in Pennsylvania and first started musky fishing down there uh, I got into, uh, well, I was casting kind of uh, into this back eddy, and it was a pretty popular spot, and anglers kind of littered the area, and there was some really heavy, I don't know if it was floral braid or whatever, but anyways, my fly line, and I didn't have a stripping basket at this time, which is my fault, but uh, some heavy line wrapped around my fly line, and I kind of just yanked it to kind of pull it free and it actually sliced right through my intermediate so ever since then when i've cast it i've had a knot where i basically tie the, the fly line together and it catches a lot on the guides and kind of prevents me from really really hucking some of those big flies out there um and it's just frustrating so I finally broke down about a new one um i did get the nine weight because they've been sold out of the 10 weight uh so settled a little bit there but i think it should be fine um, I'm not too worried about it. And then from Reddington, I got a couple of different fly lines from Reddington as well. Um, kind of uh, pointed to me by my friend Rich. Uh, the first one I got was I got the Aqualux Midge Tip, um, which I actually used in the competition. It works really well, casts really well. It did take me a little bit to get used to it. Uh, because I'm kind of used to Cortland and Cortland has some fat heads on it and it's really easy to kind of load a rod and cast. Um, plus the midge tip, a little bit more delicate presentation and just a little bit harder to throw. But I got used to it and it fished really well for me, especially on my second session. Like I said, I'm going to make a video talking all about that. And I also got the InTouch Hover, Hover Line, which I is, haven't even taken out of the box and it's trying to be, I don't have a cassette to actually throw this on a reel yet. Uh, but again, heard really good things about this hover. Um, I'm really kind of just looking for something when there's a little bit of chop on the water. I don't really want my floater to be on the surface kind of causing slack and whatnot. So that hover I think is going to drop uh, through those that little chop hold just below the surface and then I'm able to get a little bit better, better presentation of my flies if I'm kind of fishing higher in the column. So that's kind of the reason for this. Also, I'm waiting for Orvis to get back to me on my pro deal because I need to order more cassettes and another cassette reel. But, you know, spam Orvis for me. Tell him to get Tyler on the pro deal, man. I need another cassette reel. But once I get another cassette, I'm going to throw this guy on there. Really look forward to fishing this this spring and kind of through the summer and beyond, hopefully. And this, which is what I'm very, very, very excited about. Uh, I got the, I always want to call it the spec. I'm glad I looked at the package. Uh, this is the Reddington Grande reel. Um, and I actually got this for Pike, uh, Musk, Pike and Musky. So this is a, this is a big freaking reel. And it's really blue. And there that guy is right there. Yeah, it's basically the behemoth, but it's it's cast in it's in metal versus kind of that composite that the uh, the behemoth is in. Um, really excited about the drag system. Uh, I already got this spooled up with the Cortland line on there uh, with my buddies down at Sportsman's Warehouse. I snuck in the back, kind of strung it up already. 
love love the green backing uh you know green is one of my favorite colors especially bright green uh love that green backing and that contrast with that that blue reel um just kind of nerdy and geeky that way but very excited to fish this coming up um hopefully this is gonna bring in some pike and muskie for us so that's Cortland and reddington and the one that i actually have not opened or seen anything in is the nightmare muskie fly package so let's see what we got here. So I got a couple of these these bigger beads, kind of for some articulations, um, kind of time and time with wire and adding like swim tails, wiggle tails on them, uh, stuff like that. And this was kind of what I was most excited about was I ordered some of these Midwest uh, bucktails. Uh, my big issue is I, I bought some bucktails. Uh, I, I got some from Sportsman's. Um, some of them are good, some of them are bad. Uh, you know, I just got the like Spirit River ones, the cheap ones. And the big thing is, is, you know, I didn't get a lot of really airy fibers on those bucktails. Uh, so they're kind of hard to tie with. Um, and actually the best bucktail I have is one my uncle gave me years ago. Um, and it's just, it's perfect. And I wish I had a bunch of those. So kind of sp sprung for these, these Midwest bucktails because I want to get, you know, I want to have good materials when I'm tying. I don't want to be frustrated, especially when you're tying a fly that's like, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, well, it is for me because I'm a little slow. Uh, but some of these good bucktails, um, they're not as big as I thought they would be, uh, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, but I'll be able to tie plenty of flies with these. So I kind of, I got black, red, uh, yellow, and orange. Uh, I'm kind of planning on tying a fly with all them mixed together, but black was the big one. I've had a hard time finding black here in Montana uh, at the fly shops, but these other colors, um, I just really just wanted quality material uh, to tie with when I'm tying these flies. Um, and what else did I get? Well, it looks like I ordered a crap ton of articulation beads. I didn't know I ordered that many. <laughs> and it looks like some NF, NMF Titan dubbing. Oh, this is just a sample. They just sent me this. So thank you, Nightmare Muskie Flies, for that. Uh, this is N Nightmare Muskie Fly Titan dubbing and the UV Golden Olive. So I guess we'll be looking for some patterns to kind of throw that on there, probably to build up a head, I would imagine, uh, is what that's used for. But very quickly, guys, almost forgot. I also got a River Smith. Uh, four banger. I got the extended one that just covered with all my clutter from the competition, but got that excited to install that on my car and kind of have that handy with me this summer. That's going to do it for this unboxing. Uh, I'm kind of excited to use all this gear uh, this spring and this upcoming summer and the fall and beyond. Um, so look forward to stuff like that on the channel. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like on the video, subscribe, all that jazz. And we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, y'all.